it's supposed to be a mohawk. So what I'm going to do right now, while I'm browsing and looking at Facebook and other things, trying to keep my voice down because people are sleeping, and um, if you hear anything in the background, it's either the cat or the fan that's worrying. Uh, let's see. Oh, yeah, my hair is supposed to be a mohawk, by the way. So quit bitching about it. For those of you who like a bit. I have three chips here. Sorry, pretty politically correct people. Three bags of chips. Two sun, sun chips and a Doritos. Mm, so I'm trying to decide which one to eat. I'm going to eat all of them, obviously. Because I'm a fat ass, but just trying to figure out which one. God damn it. Yeah, I tried to put my hair like this to cover the zits, the pimples, whatever you want to call it. Oh, well, kind of defeats the purpose now, because I just told you they were there. So now you're going to be looking for them. I had that beard driving me crazy. Anyway, I'm going to go with the Doritos, because they're the nastiest, I think. They're not nasty, but. I've had so much of them over the years, it's like three years. Boring. Oh yeah, I might as well tell you my dream. Uh, I had a dream last night. Um, after this party with Rooster Teeth. You don't know Rooster Teeth, look them up. They're like the biggest YouTube thing ever. So if you don't know Rooster Teeth, you don't spend any time on YouTube. Or you do, but you're just looking for MySpace teen porn pictures or something. Or just really bad, bad, bad videos. If you know anything about video games, you probably know Rooster Teeth. Anyway. I was partying with Rooster Teeth. Partying up. You know, like we be doing. And I went home, went to bed. Or went somewhere and went to bed. I woke up, and I somehow ended up in the army again. Don't ask me how. Dorito is pretty good. Not advertising, because we all know what kind of crap they put in Doritos. But anyway, I digress. To quote, to quote Michael Jones from Rooster Teeth, let me regress. Um. Yeah. So I was at the at a defect, which is a dining facility, and um. A sergeant told me to clean up someone else's mess, basically. His mess trailed from the, the serving line all the way to the chairs where the guy sat down. I was just walking past. I just happened to be a soldier. And he, I go, you know, clean this mess up. And I'm like, sure, I'll, I'll get right on that. So I walk away. I put down my tray, I guess, because I didn't have it at the time. When I found the mop, I found a mop and bucket, you know, one of those yellow rolly buckets for the carpet, and I took it and I rolled it along the gray carpet. Strange how my dream is so vivid and detailed when it's usually not. Short gray carpet, I rolled it over, and I just set the, the bucket there, and I was like, there you go. Consider it done, because I'm not doing it, and I just like walk away. And um, I go and I sit down with my commanding officer to eat, because you know, that's what I do. That's what I did back in the day, pretty much. I mean, yeah. I was like the only private, corporal, whatever, the only little soldier, little guy, who got to sit with his officers because of my job. It entailed that. Anyway, so I sat down, and my commanding officer was a chief or a colonel, one of the two. Either way, he was outranked the major that sat across from me. The major was like, I spilled something clean it up for me, and I'm just like, no, oh, what, what, clean up your own mess, and of course the colonel's like, he's backing me up, he's like, dude, we clean up our own messes around here, come on now, and then the, the major, who's for some reason, looks like Mickey Rourke, but his eyes are like, the top half are green, the bottom half are orange, he's like the flight of Ireland, basically, and he's just like, you will clean up my mess, and I was like, Bing! Fuck you! And I just get up and walk away. Now, that's not 
None of that. None of that. Not even the, the partying with Brewster Teeth made me think that I was in a dream. I completely thought it was real. I'll let you know when I get to the part where I thought it was a dream. So, I get up and I walk away. And I just sit down and I'm on this, I look at my cell phone and I get a text message. I'm like, whatever. I'm eating. You know, I'm not looking for anyone to talk to right now. So. But then I, I get a voicemail on this phone, which I don't have a phone right now. So, you know, I, I'm like, whatever. I'll listen to it while I'm eating, but I'm not texting while I'm eating. That's for sure retarded. Who does that except for retards? So I put the phone in my ear and I listen, and it's just, it's, it's Gus Cirola from Rooster Teeth. And they're just like, dude, 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 where are you, man? We had a blast last night. You know, basically doing the whole, we had a blast, we had a great party, where are you? And then Gus is like, dude, man, we've been trying to call you, man, we want you to, we want you to come. And then, like, when are you coming? And he's, and he's just going on about it. And Jeff Ramsey, also from Rooster Teeth, is in the background just laughing, like, he's going to come on the net. And, and then Gus is like, what? You mean the net? And then, yeah, I mean, it's obviously he has to be there, but. You know, Jeff is the type to laugh about something like that. When are you coming? Ha ha ha. That's Jeff for you. I mean, I mean Gus was laughing too, but not like, you know, like an idiot like Jeff is. I mean, anyway. So after this, I you know hang up. I'm like, oh well, whatever. I'll go outside, and I'm still thinking this is real life, right? I'll let you. You'll know when I figure out it's a dream. And uh, so I go outside. And, well, no, I don't go outside. I'm walking to go outside because I'm about to go, to, you know, to hook up, you know, to, to hook up, hang out, whatever the new lingo is, um, with the rooster teeth. Hook up with the rooster teeth. I'm about to check my out. Anyway, so I go out. I, I, I'm walking towards the door, and I just look over, and I see Michael Jones from Rage Quit raping a five-year-old Filipino boy, saying, you just got pay massage. Ha, ha, ha. You know, he's doing his thing. That, that's Michael for you. So, um... I walk out, and uh, there's Lindsay, my girlfriend. That's when I figure out I'm in a dream. When Lindsay from Rooster Teeth is my girlfriend, I'm in a dream. I better stop this. It's like seven minutes long. Nobody's going to watch this shit. My next video, I probably eat the sun chips. Look at that hair.